I, in my last video, we talked about the best rap songs of 2017, and now we're going to talk about the top 10 worst rap songs of 2017. So, without further delay, let's get into this. And if you don't like cursing, click off the video. I'm really mad at these songs, especially the top three. So if you don't like those kind of language, you can get you can get your booty get your booty out of here. For this video, no honorable mentions. Okay, obviously. But this 2017 has some horrible songs, in my opinion. And we're going to look at the worst. Coming at number 10, Look At Me by XXX. 10 Kinesh. 10 Kinesh. Can't say their name. You want to hear something that's so horrible about this song? Yeah. Listen to the beat. Taking my dick in my pants. Beat is bait. The bass on that beat is... So high, and it is pretty annoying. Let's listen to it at full volume now. Hey, See? Annoying. That's ear rape. Oh my god, it is so annoying. The beat. And, like, the lyrics are obnoxious. And <clears throat> what is this project you made here? Okay, so next, num coming at number nine is Caroline By. Yes, m and am and What is that picture? That is disturbing. What the fuck? Okay, so this song was released last year as a single for his album, I guess, Good For You, but the album came out this year, so I'm putting it on my list. It's stupid. Where is it? This is stupid. This is just, why would you have this in your song? Oh my, his rapping sucks. It's like, fine as hell. No one raps like that. And the beat, it's not that bad, but the lyrics are stupid. Like, Caroline, fine as hell. Like, no, those are dumb lyrics. Caroline is not fine as hell. What the fuck? Were you high when you wrote this? Like, what is this shit? I don't even know who wrote it, but it's horrible. Okay, number eight, No Limit, g Easy, ASAP Rocky, and Cardi B. Listen, I like, I, 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 I don't like this song, but listen to my reasoning. I love G-Eazy. His new album, The Beautiful and the Jammed, was really good. He's one of the rappers that are actually good this year, but this song I cannot with. Listen. Okay. So I do like the, I like G-Eazy's part. Asap Rocky was okay, but Cardi B is the one that killed the song for me. Let me find it for you. It was horrible. Fuck him, then I get some money. Listen. What is patty paste? That's my question. What is this rap? We get these hoes out of shape? What does that even mean? Bitch, I ain't Jerry. No one said anything about fucking Jerry. We don't even know who that is. My god. Make a eat me out. What? That can go two ways, but th what does this have to do with the objective of the song? One, if you have to say your name in a song, that's really cringy. And she said what? Wait for it, let's see what she said. Wait. Listen. Okay, so she's trying to brag and say that her music is selling and doing amazing. Okay, but, okay, you know, she's talking about Bodiac Yellow. I think she had an album this year. I didn't listen to it because I hate Cardi B. She's bragging about this. It's not. And her lyrics don't make any sense. This is Patty Pace. And what about, what is that? What are you talking about? Listen to the chorus. Now. Okay, listen. So what do Cardi B's lyrics have to do with the chorus? Nothing. What did any of the song have to do with No Limits? Nothing. I'm just gonna say this now. G-Eazy should have done this song alone. It would have been fine by itself. It doesn't need these people. Nothing against ASAP Rocky, but... 
I don't understand. But Cardi B ruined it for me, in my opinion. Least favorite song off of Beautiful and the Damned. <sighs> okay, it's really disappointing to me. Okay, at number seven, you have bank account. You know, if you don't know me, I hate 21 Savage. He is absolutely annoying. Let's listen to it. what's wrong with this song. Okay. His voice is so annoying when he raps. He just goes... Like, every other rapper sounds like that. He has a little different voice. That's it. Perfect. No. Wait for the chorus to copy him. Where is the chorus? That chorus is so annoying. He's like, in my bank account. In my bank account. Is this song basically... I think this song is just about bragging about how much money he has in his bank account. I'm listening to this annoying lyric. Wait. I don't know why he's rap why he's counting. If you count in your song, it's cringy. He just he's just saying one, two, three. I think I'm pretty sure all your fans know how to count. Okay? You don't need to teach us. It's annoying. And you're annoying. God. Uh, oh my I just no. Coming to number six, we have Bodiac Yellow. You know, Cardi B had to be on this list because she's absolutely annoying. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get copyright claims on this. Look at her. She's fine or whatever, but... I feel like this whole song is about bragging. She's like, I'm a boss, bitch. Some of that in the song, I think she says that. I should have listened to this song before I did a video. I kind of forgot what's about that little But it's horrible. I know it is. Okay. So, what does running fast as a horse have to do with anything in this song? Yeah, you and your fake teeth, Cardi. Okay, you pay your mama's bills. I don't know if that's true. I'm pretty sure it's not. And these hoes be mad at you for paying your mother's bills. Okay. Anything to do with the song? And then here comes the chorus. You can't fuck with me, little bitch, if you wanted to. I'm a boss, bitch. Like, she's basically bragging and saying no one can fuck with her if they wanted to. Bitch, we could try you all day. You won't fucking do shit. That's the thing. Okay, your red bottoms, bloody shoes. Why would you want bloody shoes? Why would you run like that? Did you kill someone? She's saying she makes money moves, which makes no sense. Money doesn't move. Unless you move it to, like, to the table. I don't understand what you're going at with this song. And at number five, we have I'm the One. Listen, I know there's not a song. I call this song rap, but we pretty annoying rap. Uh, I can hear a little slight auto-tune, which throws me off, and I can't really tell what the guy is saying, so... Really? You're gonna do a car sound? Blur, blur. Boy, it's almost 2018. You're doing that shit still. Yeah, Shut the fuck up. Oh, this bit. Is this Quavo? Because he sounds fucking horrible. <sighs> that's not funny. What does her not having tables have to do with her being the one? You know, the, 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 the meaning of the song? I don't know. Wait, wait. Okay, we get it. She has no tables. Shut the fuck up and can just. How does she have no cable if you're watching Netflix? <laughs> Excuse me, what are you saying? Oh, wait, no one can tell. Maybe that's only me. Maybe okay, 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 okay. 
Yeah. You say bitch, you don't get with me. If he did say that, that makes no sense because the song is about being the one for her. And how are you saying bitch, you can't get with me? What? Okay, coming in number four, it's Everyday Bro. Yes, I'm drinking into this horrible fucking YouTuber who has gotten too much credit. I don't understand. This song is so horrible. Like, I don't get it. Yeah. Listen, look, yeah. we all know what the lyric that throws everyone off. Stop, please. That's not what I fucking wanted. This chorus is so obnoxious. I hate everyone in this song almost. The only people I like. You know, fucking sucks. I, the rapper, fine. Looks like he's saying, never first. I'm never last. I'm first. Whatever. Fuck off. Shut the fuck up. I still don't know your name. Is that Chance or Anthony? I can't tell the fucking difference. That's what you're saying. This song is all about bragging, if you haven't told. This is all about bragging and shit. It's annoying. Oh my god. No, I think... Where is it? You want my fame. Bitch, we don't want none of your quote-unquote fame. Okay, so the lyric we're talking about, I was talking about is England is my city by... I don't know. Is it Nick Crompton? They're all irrelevant, so I can't tell. Except Jake, because apparently he's special. Six, five, four. Oh my god, with the notification. At number three, we have Rockstar. You know, the song makes absolutely no sense. You know how the song is about being Rockstar? Post Malone wrote this because he's mad that he was, he wanted to be a Rockstar, but he got apparently rejected. And he's wrote a song about it, but he doesn't know what Rockstar is. Listen. Listen. Once again, 21 Savage. It's annoying ass is still here. Where is it? Right here. Annoying ass fucking course. This song is so annoying. Okay, so listen. Rock stars don't pop pills as much. Don't pop pills. Listen. He talks about popping pills, but rock stars don't pop pills. That's the rappers. So he's saying he's been fucking hoes and popping pills, which apparently rock stars do, even though rappers are the ones that always rap about it, because that's probably what they do. So, rock stars never don't. I don't know. I've never heard a rock star rap about stuff like this. I mean, talk about stuff like this. I don't listen to rock, but I don't think I ever heard a song that goes like that. You don't make sense. And then Savage 21 Savage was like, oh, Savage, we or something. Like, stop saying your name in a song. It's cringy as fuck, dude. It's 2017, bitch. Almost 2018. No one gives a fuck about who you are. Number two, Gucci Gang. You guys all saw this coming. Oh, you know what? The chorus is fucking up now. Where is it? Listen, these lyrics are idiotic. Saying Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang apparently is going to get you a good song. No, it is so annoying. Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang, spend that on a new chain. No one gives a fuck. Shut the fuck up. Oh, like, I love rap, and 2017 was not a good year. Unless you count Eminem, um, g and Kendrick. They killed it. Mostly. Mostly. Yeah. We don't give a shit about what your bitch likes to do. And then why do rappers always call women a bitch in the song? Can you fucking stop? This song is overall annoying. I don't want to talk about it anymore because it's really making me mad. Okay, number one, bad and bougie. Huh, drop, 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 smoking that, you know, that, that, that. That stupid fucking lyric that became a meme. No. This is the only reason that song is popular because the stupid drop, drop, or whatever lyric. I fucking hate it. It's so annoying. I don't have much time to explain this stupid shit. So the rap is overall stupid. I don't know what the fuck most of they're mostly saying. My bag, bad and bougie. We don't give a shit about that. What the fuck is this song about? I don't understand the lyrics or anything. What's happening? Cooking. What? The Uzi? What's Uzi? Isn't your name U You're cooking yourself. I'm not with this video. I hope you liked it, but these songs are horrible.